we are out here on top of the church. So the view up here is insane. Kauda has absolutely charmed me. Hey travel lovers, welcome to A Wanderlust for Life. Today we are taking a day trip from Amsterdam because we know you want to see more of the Netherlands and we are very excited to show you. So where are we? We are in Gouda. It is Gouda to Americans, but here we say Gouda and we figure what better place to start than the cheese market. Let's go. This cheese market is really a historical show. They don't actually sell cheese this way anymore, but they do so by like slapping the hands of each other after they weigh the cheese. And this is really like the core of Kauda because that is why the cheese is named as it is because this is where it was originally sold. So it's super cool. Just know that this is for tourists. Take your photos, take your videos. You can even take pictures with some of the guys here. I don't know, it's a lot of fun, but don't expect it to be like what they do today. One of the unique things about this market I really love is you can kind of walk through the pallets and everything, and the people are so nice. They're setting up with pictures, they answer your questions. This is just a really cool, very tourist friendly experience while you're still learning about history. On certain days you can come up to this windmill and come up to the top and what's really crazy is we have bought flour from this windmill and there's a shop right next door that you pay to come up here but you can buy the flour there and I highly recommend it but this is just really cool the view up here is insane but please note that they are like ladder stairs so you have to be comfortable going up a ladder to be able to come up here but it's super cool and you can just walk around and explore For lunch, we have come to a beautiful air-conditioned place. It's called Hofia Van Jongkind, and they have a covered Hofia behind me, but they were all reserved. Um, but it is super cute. Next time, we will make a reservation. But we are in Gouda, so I got a pancake with Gouda cheese. And I'm really excited because I haven't had a panic in a while, and it's a very traditional Dutch pancake. And then Shanghai got an outsmiter, which is, what is it? It's toast with uh, bacon, eggs, and cheese. Um, I think he may have won as far as looks go, but you never know, looks can be deceiving. But we are enjoying the cool air for now. Um, up next, we have a couple other indoor experiences, which I am also looking forward to on this incredibly hot day. Sean and I were just talking, and it's kind of amazing when we leave Amsterdam, we go to some of these smaller towns, just how like welcoming and inviting it all feels to be. Like it's not just cute and quaint and adorable and all of those words, but it's like the people just, it almost feels like they're excited to see you. And that's just a feeling that I don't think comes across, especially in a lot of vlogs around a place so touristy like Gouda. And also like this area, like there's just these houses and buildings along this, across this canal and there's little bridges everywhere. I don't know, it's just like a totally different, I have watched vlogs, I've read blogs about Gouda and none of this ever came up to me. And this is the kind of thing that I want you guys to see and you to experience. I want you to walk around, I want you to feel it. I want you to feel the, the friendliness. But now we're gonna go to a, do a touristy thing called the cheese experience, so <laughs> you gotta do it. <laughs> interesting. Um, the animations were really cute. You definitely can learn a lot here. I would combine maybe a trip uh, from Gouda to Vorda and we have done a video on that as well. I'll leave that linked above and below for you. But you know this is there's a lot of tourists here. It's very very busy whereas Vorda is actually in like a cheese warehouse and you get to talk to people which I really really enjoyed. But there's more to see here in Gouda so let's go. We are here in the little alleys here in Gouda and we are going to the St. John's Church. Now, 
One of the reasons this is so important, so it was built in the 1500s, but it's really popular for its stained glass. So there are 72 windows, 61 of which were made between the 1530s and 1603. And it just is crazy that over half of the 16th century stained glass in the Netherlands is in this building. It's also, I think, the longest church in the Netherlands, which is crazy. And even more excitingly, they have an exhibition where you can go on the roof until October. Uh, so I think that'll be pretty amazing with some awesome views. Ready to check it out? Let's go. here on top of the church that's right by um, where the market was and this is crazy so this scaffolding and stuff is only here because it's the 750th anniversary of the city of Kauda and uh, also they needed to renovate that thing <laughs> so kill two birds with one stone right but this is such a unique view but it's only open until October 1st of this year 2022 but this is incredible I love finding things like this that was crazy. The roof is insane. I wish they had that all the time, but mm, it's a special occasion. But also, I highly recommend that you get the audio guide for the church. Now, there are usually hit and miss, but this one was actually really good. And I, yeah, it'll definitely elevate your experience when you visit the church. Did you know that the Dutch Stroopwafel originated here in Kauda? It totally did. And my favorite place in Amsterdam on the Albert Kuipstraat, actually the father learned from a baker here in Kauda, which is why it's my favorite. If you missed that video, I'm gonna link it down below for you because if you go to the Albert Kuip market, you have to go there. But for now, we are going to this Stroopwafel Fabrique and we're gonna learn all about how it's done. And I'm really hoping to get my hands on some. So let's go see if that can happen. Come on. I was saying it wrong all along. So here at Kamphausen, they make syrup waffles, not stroop waffles as I know it to be. But the family who had started this, like made the recipe and sealed it up and everything super, super secret. So nobody else makes them quite like this. But the introduction gave you all the history. It was a little weird with the graphics and the audio, but if you can bear with that and go into the fabric part, it was everything that I was hoping it would be. We got to taste five different syrups and I got to guess what they were. That was kind of a lot of fun. And then you got to see the entire process. I don't know. It was super cool. Totally worth a visit when you're here. And Kauda has absolutely charmed me. I did not realize exactly how amazing it would be. Now, it is a great day trip from Amsterdam, but we've actually been talking and we'd love to come back for a weekend. There's just so many nooks and crannies, amazing shops and cafes that we want to try, but this is just, I mean, this has absolutely blown me away. And other people have thought so too. So it's on New York Times' list with 52 places for a changed world and Bloomberg pursuits where to go in 2022. So this isn't just about me. Other people feel the same way. So. I hope you come and enjoy it. And if you do, you have to let me know down in the comments. But this is a great day trip to Gouda or Gouda from Amsterdam. I can't wait to come back. There's so much more to explore, but I hope this gave you some inspiration for your next trip when you come to Amsterdam or anywhere in the Netherlands. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.